welcome to our third and final review of the week, Override Next City Brawl. Now, do I really have to go into a description of this? <laughs> a, we already <laughs> talked about this like twice, and B, it's yeah. actually kind of straightforward. Yeah. So I heard you kids like giant fighting robots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like we, we, we've covered this game more extensively than we usually cover games. Like we, you know, we, we got a beta video that was done not too long ago. And on Friday, we showcased the final version, the multiplayer stuff that we didn't show in the beta. So I guess the thing we're primarily going to be focused on here is what we couldn't show off in the video. Namely, there's a single player mode and a training system. Yes. Um, and a tutorial mode, you know, which are actually handy because, um, yeah, there are... Uh, yeah, there are a decent number of not entirely obvious mechanics in this game. Yes. Uh, you know, it's like, I will say this game tries to have deeper mechanics, a deeper fighting system. Um, the key word there mm -hmm. is tries. Um, yeah. You know, I'm sorry to say they really don't work. Um, yeah, because it's clunky. You're, you're you're giant robots in a city, and there are usually four of you. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and even in the single-player mode, um, you're not really facing off against one um, xenotype, as they call them, at once. No, no, you're... You know, it's like... Because yeah, I'm trying you... to do... You know, um, like trying to do counter punches or kicks. Um, yeah relies on like timing and that's not mm -hmm. really a thing this game excels at no that's... like during a single player you'll get overwhelmed really quick <laughs> if you yeah. don't but... fight back <laughs> no like I said, it's commendable that they put that stuff in there but you know it's just this is um barely controlled chaos at the best of times now, and you you can see it in our multiplayer vids. Mm. You know, it's like you're not you're not strategizing, and maybe eventually, like if this could be a high level play thing, but I mean, the game hasn't been out long enough for anyone to reach that level. Yeah, like like I mentioned yeah. in the um, multiplayer thing, I don't think this is gonna take Evo by storm. No, like, no. This is, like no. no, but it is fun. Yeah, yeah. It, nobody's yeah, it's undeniably it's fun. It's just, <laughs> you know, unfortunately, this game is kind of above its punching weight in terms of serious fighting mechanics. You know, as a casual drunken brawler, yeah, it excels. That, that's kind of the actual point here. You know, another um, point of order here is the actual punching and kicking. Um, they're fairly clunky affairs. Like, even the more graceful characters um, are kind of lacking in fluidity. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that's necessarily bad, but it's kind of antithetical to um, what they were, uh, some of the things that they were trying to go for. But, you know, that's fine. Like, you know, being a... You know, I hesitate to use the word shallow brawler, but uh, being a chaotic brawler is fine. Quite frankly, we need more of this kind of game. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, honest... You know... Yeah, highly technical fighting games are a large part of the genre, and yeah. that doesn't mean they need to be the whole thing. They, they really shouldn't. Yeah. Is it? Um, and I've said it before, but this game reminds me of uh, Destroy All Monsters Melee, uh, which was an, uh, an actual Godzilla game for the PlayStation 2 and GameCube. And, uh -huh. um, now, now, and that was pretty fun. Yeah, it was. Um, but, you know, that, that was a long time ago, too. Early 2000, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, as far as its single-player mode goes, it's all right. 
Like, it's not an afterthought, but I wouldn't call it the main draw either. Yeah, like, it shows that the mechs actually have pilots and they have personalities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there are stories. Um, A a point against, like, I get why it did this because it's actually fairly character focused and, you know, focused on the um, pilot of a mech. Unfortunately, it's like if you um, select a mech you don't particularly care for, uh, you know, um, you have to reset the entire campaign to choose a new mech. Mm. Yeah. So it might be worth doing the tutorial and the training mode a a bit to nail down which um, mech you want to um, pick. Mm-hmm. For uh, the said mode, or it, you know, it's like, or if you're going to correct yourself, do it early, um, because yeah. you know, once you're in, uh, locked into the campaign, because it's not just about going through the story mode, you're building up your mech. You know, you get um, new parts that will, you know, uh, make you tougher, make you fight, like you improve your stats. You know, like so, you're mm-hmm. actually investing in making your mech better. And also, no, as far as I know, none of that ca- carries over to the multiplayer mode. Yeah. No. Like, the only thing you get out of the uh, story mode is um, the um, yeah, uh, it's the skins. <laughs> yeah, and you can get, also get the skins from playing the multiplayer mode. Yeah. You know. and, and Unfortunately, really- they're still not even particularly biased towards the robot you happen to actually be using. Really, any sort of permanent changes are done in the garage mode. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, also worth noting, this game does have some DLC, but, you know, we'll get we'll get to that, um, you know, in pricing and such. Uh, you know, it's like, I think we've uh, mentioned it before, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, but yeah, mo- uh, single player mode is decent, um, but you know it, it's like it, it was all right. But uh, you know it's like I had a lot more fun with the multiplayer stuff. And um, mm-hmm. when it comes to multiplayer, we mostly showed off versus mode. But there is um, um, there is matchmaking mode, which has things like one. You know, that's the stuff if you want to go and challenge strangers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, th- you know, it's like also that is where ranked mode is located. So if you're if you're caring about, you know, being the best at this game, that's where you go. I'm like, none of us could give a shit about um, where we positioned officially in the yeah. override next city brawl. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in fact, you know, we do not like playing with strangers. That is why we are a team. That is one of the reasons why I have a team here. Like, so I don't have to play with fucking strangers. You know, it's like, and you know, we don't have to deal with the the things that people do online. Let's just say. Yeah. No. Yep. It's like, you know, would we have encountered them in a game like this? Hard to say. I'm like, um. I don't think Maybe. we even looked to see if there was even like that much of an online community in this. Yeah, it's like uh, honestly, I have no idea how this game is going to do because um, it's releasing in the busiest time of the year, mm-hmm. and y- you know it's kind of releasing under the shadow of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I know yeah, that's, that's a not, thing. You know, I know it's not on the PC, but that's still a major, major game release. That's in this um, kind of uh, barnyard. Mm-hmm. You know, not exactly because of all the stylistic choices and whatnot, but, you know, Smash and Override here are, you know, more casual brawler affairs in the grand scheme of things. But like yeah. I said, I, you know, it's like it is not our job to judge those things. We'll, we'll probably get we might get an update from Modus Games when we do the interview. No. Anyway, so, yeah, those are the parts of the game that we haven't really covered um, up until this point. 
and you know it's a you know it's like tutorial and training mode um absolutely handy wish they were i wish they had been there when we first did this game yeah because uh it's not there this game has a lot of mechanics like i said that are not yes yeah. particularly obvious like how yeah, to yeah. do all of your specials and stuff yeah um you know um single player mode it's fine like it's not it's not what you're probably going to buy this game for because none of the marketing's really like it's more centered around the multiplayer functionality than anything else but you mm -hmm. know it's good that it's there you know it's like and the multiplayer mode is really good fun you know it's like um you know especially if like i'd imagine this would be really fun uh, you know if everyone's slightly inebriated it certainly brings back some memories. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> all right. Um, any any other comments or whatnot about uh, Override before I move to the price? Um, do we want to talk about the season pass, or do we want to do that in the DLC or in the oh, price? I mean, yeah, that's kind of wrapped up in the pricing structure. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so any, anything not related to that kind of stuff? Not really. This is one. Of, I, I will say there's still some internet problems. At least for me, I didn't have a chance to try it without streaming. Yeah, the sound is still a problem. The ability to turn it off was a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Still not but sure I why that. I think your mics are still technically always hot. Like if you don't have a they mute are. button. Yeah. So yeah, if you have a noise problem, either mute your mic or like externally, or if you can unplug it, do so. Mm hmm. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Um, anything else? Nothing that I can think of. All right. So this game clocks in at $30. Like um, base price. Um, the season pass is fourteen ninety nine, and the super mega ch um, mega city brawl plus supercharged mega edition, which is um, everything, you know, it's forty dollars. Like so, you get a five dollar discount if you buy the supercharged mega edition. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as it's worth it, I'm like, hmm, I'm going to say a wait. a little high for me. Yeah, it's like, I'm going to say wait for a sale on this. Yeah, especially because the just playing through the single player here, it's not really clicking with me that much. I'd much rather be playing with other people. And even right. from the multiplayer, there mm -hmm. are only so many. Yeah. There yeah. are only so many mechs and there are only so many... Um, stages do we know right. if this is coming to console yet or is this just pc only let me see i i want to uh, um let me see if uh because for I'm that price if i could get it on ps4 and play it with some friends i would consider it more than for just pc um it is on the playstation 4 and xbox one so yeah if if you if you at that price, console would probably be the preferred option because you have local multiplayer, easier yeah. local multiplayer options. If you're just going for PC, definitely wait for a sale so you can get a copy for your buddy and then you guys can play online. Yeah, and um, it's mm -hmm. worth noting that um, all the pricing information we've mentioned um, is applicable to the console versions. Mm -hmm. Now, including the, uh, the season pass, um, you know, there's no soundtracks here. Yeah. Which I'm I'm okay with that. Most of the music was kind of stock. Mm. Like not I'm not accusing them of using stock music, but you know, if you if you told me that it was from a repository, I wouldn't try to dispute you on that. Also worth noting, uh there is a physical version available, at least on the consoles. Like mm. I'm looking at the Xbox One version. It's the same price as the digital. Or no, no um, it, as the full digital um, bundle. So. Yeah, I was about to say, is it the full, like, with everything, or is it just the base game? But you answered that, so. Um, I, well, no, it's the same price as that. I'm not sure if that includes, I don't think that includes the season pass. Uh, link it. Um, 
let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's the GameStop. Uh, copy link. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on. Come on, slow thing. Live research. Yeah. Um, well, that's the raw Google link, but whatever. Google will get me where I wouldn't need to go. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's like... Uh, yeah, it's you know. the um, Season Pass version. Okay, so... So for 40 bucks, you get everything on it, if you get the physical edition yeah. on console. Yeah, it's like, I'd say... Yeah, I'd also say go for the console version, um, because this seems like it'll be... Uh, it'll last longer with local multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, you know, the simple fact of the matter is... Um, yeah, the multiplayer is fun, but it does, it's not something you're going to be playing for hours on hours. This is the kind of multiplayer game you'd load up for about 30 minutes to an hour. Back um, when I was in high school, yeah. we had, uh, like, video games club, and this would be perfect for that. Yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I did that kind of thing in college, so. Yeah. But, like, so, this, this isn't offensive, so you don't have to worry about no. somebody who can't be around, like, blood and gore. It's just robots punching each other, unless yeah. they're sensitive yep. to unless they're sensitive to like low poly buildings being destroyed. Mm. But you know what I mean. The, for like a yeah. kids game club, this would be something that'd be perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I think that uh, yeah, that's about the extent of our recommendation there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, that's about it for our review session this week. Um, right then, the week ahead. So, uh, let me see here. On December 11th, yes, we do have a Tuesday show. Our final Tuesday show of the year. Um, December 11th. Yes. We're going to need to cancel that because I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. I told you to black that one out. Oh. Um... I'll see if they can, like... If not, maybe we'll have to have Twilight. Well, no, wait, Twilight can't be there on Tuesdays either. Yeah. Uh, I can't make it. Okay. Okay, we'll see if we can't reschedule that one. The problem is they're under... They're promoting a Kickstarter. Yeah, I'm mm. sorry, but it's it's way too late for me to cancel this appointment, too, so... Well, what time is your appointment on Tuesday? Noon, and it's an hour drive to there. Okay, I'm like, we could do it earlier. Like, well, that's something we're gonna need to look into because right. yeah, the we, the normal time slot will not work. All right, I'm like, like I said, you know the the problem is it's a it's a Kickstarter thing that's going yeah. on right now. So, um, what game is this for? Um. Um, we will be having, well, it's Alberto, Albert, um, it's an Italian name, Albertin, uh, Albertino Roberto of Timeless Games, Inc. And let me, um, let me go find their, we, we can discuss this in the, um, post show. So anyway, okay. so more updates on, you know, on that, but on Wednesday, December 12th, we will be having, um, Cheeseness. Uh, th- that's their uh, Discord name mm. of Underflow Studios. They're the ones who made Away Team. Ah, uh. yeah. yeah. Hmm. You know, it's like they're not exactly sure um, who's going to be there. Um, you know, because it's a sh- they're an Australian dev. But yeah, that is still sl- uh, slated to take place. Um, anyway, so um, until later, uh, I wish you good gaming. Hang on. 